How's it going everyone? My name is Tom and welcome back to episode 2 of my Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim uh, franchise mode. I'm, I'm going to start by uh, <laughs> start this video off by saying Happy Independence Day to my American, uh, to my fellow Americans across the pond kind of thing. You know, uh, I know I have a lot of American subscribers. I'm obviously a huge fan of America and its sports, culture, all that kind of thing. So. Happy Independence Day to you all, happy 4th of July, I hope you all have a good day and I hope you set off lots of fireworks. Celebrate your country's independence by blowing up a small chunk of it. Anyway, moving into the video, as you can see there is a difference in the lineup. Trout and Hamilton aren't in, in. <laughs> aren't in the lineup. I had to rest some players uh, because their energy was getting low and this is going to be a big series against the Rangers especially because it's away from home again we are still yet to get to Angels Stadium but for now we are at Arlington Texas ballpark and Vargas is getting the start for the Angels obviously Texas is going to be a tough tough opponent I know this very much so but I am coming off a three win streak the Reds just could not get it going more dominant pitching than anything um, but yeah, they just weren't able to, to put together enough hits. I could only muster up a couple, and I ended up taking that series, the opening series, three to nothing. But then again, so did the Rangers. If you saw, they also went three and zero. So obviously, they're going to be very, very tough. That ball though is going to pop up to the right fielder, who's not going to get it. I believe it was. Did I have? I can't remember if it was Peter. I think it was Borges that I've got in on right field. I think it was. But runners on the corners here. Two outs for Ian Kinsler. And that is going to be a strike on that two-seamer. Kinsler here with a chance to give Texas the lead. Bottom of the first, though, so Vargas obviously not going to be too worn out yet. His confidence is a bit shattered by giving up the hits already. Put a four-seamer out wide there, and he is going to pop up to Trumbo. Trumbo's easily going to pick that one up in foul territory, and that will end the inning. And I think I just said Trumbo. I might think it was him. Pujols, actually. I can't remember him forever mixing this lineup up. But talking of Mark Trumbo, here he is up at the plate, top of the second, only one out for him. He is 0-1 on the count. A lot of good pitches for the pitcher. I forgot who it was. Trumbo making good contact there and sending that one up the middle. And he will easily get into first standing. I don't know why I pointed out the fact that he was standing, because obviously he was going to get there standing. He wouldn't probably slide there for no apparent reason. Vernon Wells up at the plate now. Going to be guessing on a slider more than likely, as you can see. Trumbo made solid contact there, and his time was just early, so he probably could have done better. Guessing correctly on that slider and splitting the sec the short and third, Trumbo going to advance over to second. So nothing incredible, but still putting pressure on the defense, putting pressure on the pitcher. Every little helps. And Vernon Wells obviously pretty happy with that. Chris Gill, the second baseman now, someone we have not seen yet, but someone who is not actually an incredible player. I just had to put him in to rotate the squad around. Has a chance to pick up some RBIs here, and he makes good contact. Exactly the same place as Vernon Wells. I'm going to try and round the bases and get home, and I'll just get there. But Chris Gill going to slide into second, and that is not going to be a double for him. He's going to get tagged out at second base. Sadly that, because obviously he made good uh, good contact and he probably deserved a bit more than that. And everyone decides to want to come into my room at the same time while I'm recording. Don't they know? Anyway, two outs here for Alberto Cayaspo. Runner on third. Going to make okay contact there on that curve ball. Going to bring a runner in. That is an RBI single for Cayaspo. And I still think I'm saying some of these name wrongs, folks. Some people are going to have to start correcting me. I'm really not sure. Anyway, the pitching coach is going to come out. And you know that is not a good thing if your pitching coach is coming out this early. But once you get one hit, sometimes the hits tend to follow. Because obviously subsequent batters have obviously rattled the uh, the pitcher. Not a lot of speed, though, for Gaspo. So I assume he's going to be staying. Two outs, though, here for Ionetta. Swinging on that four-seamer. That is wide of the strike zone. Kaspo after to slide into first head first there, <laughs> nearly getting caught off the base and still people are coming into my room, why are they doing this? Anyway, still runner on first, top of the second. Ionetta guessing that one correctly and that is going to go straight down the middle again. As I was saying, the subsequent batter's rattling the pitcher. The pitcher's just got no chance, one after the other, he really needs to get out of this inning, it's lucky that there's two outs. Peter Borges here, up in centre field, so it isn't... Uh, Borges I had over at 
right field. Solid contact, but just late on that. Anyway, that one is going to go high and deep. The left fielder tracking back all the way to the warning track and just picking that one in. I was hoping that one would bounce off the wall. Sadly, it was not to be, but a good effort. Really good effort there, and that's a shame. Should have probably done better with that. Top of the third now, pull holes up at the plate. Only one count for him. No outs with a runner on second. Runner in scoring position, making good contact on that fastball. Not able to get into first and beat it out, but he does get in on an error, and that is also an RBI for pull holes. I suppose he didn't expect to be safe there. It was an error as the first baseman did drop the ball. It wasn't a great throw from the shortstop, a bit rushed. Chris Gill, I believe it is, with a chance here. Making poor contact, bobbling that to the third baseman, and that is going to be a double play. Oh, Cutliffe, sorry. Cutliffe, the right fielder, that's who it was. Always oh, the second baseman. I can, I'm confused with names still. Bottom of the third now, 1 1 count for Berkman, and Vargas is going to throw a cut fastball inside there. Berkman just managing to make some contact to foul that one off. Vargas is going to go with the curveball now, despite being recommended a change up, and it is going to pay off anyway. Berkman looking at that strike a little bit frustrated I would be too Vargas what a very very good uh, set of pitches here that one low cut fastball inside for, foul, for the strike two and obviously that curveball you just saw a good set of pitches there but a little bit of a jam here one runner on first a lot of speed but gets Beltre swinging and really impressive start here from Vargas only able to allow three hits but a broken bat for Murphy here at the bottom of the fourth with the Angels in big trouble runner on first and second two outs 0-2 count Murphy's gonna foul that one off really incredible chance here for the Rangers they can easily get themselves back in this game a home run would tie the game up runner in scoring though and that one is gonna go straight down the middle and the centre fielder is not going to get hold of that one properly. So that is one run for the Rangers. Limited. Will it be two? No, Ionetta gets over there in time. Really, really unlucky there for the Rangers. And also unlucky for the Angels. Lucky that they were able to stop him. Six hits so far for the Rangers. One after the other. In after reading Vargas had such a strong start and he let it go very quickly. And that is one run for the Rangers. They are back in this game. Only a two-run deficit. Back again, Vargas back on the mound, runner on first, not a lot of speed to go though. That is going to bounce to the third baseman, six foot, no! And it wasn't even a six foot three, <laughs> I got that wrong. That should have been a double play, and that was not going to happen. Third baseman made a good throw, but the runner slides, the runner with very little speed as well, slides very heavily into, is it Chris Gill? Yes, Chris Gill, I will get the names right. Slides into Chris Gill and he is not able to get the relay throw off for a double play. And that means Rangers will keep attacking. Giovanni Soto up now with an 0-2 count, two outs. Still runner on first. And that cut fastball inside gets him swinging to end the inning. Vargas gets out of that jam there. And Texas showing that they are still very much in this game. They are not giving up seven hits for them now by the end of the six. We jump ahead now to Vernon Wells being at the top of the seventh. No one on, no outs. 0-0 oh, oh, count. Going to wait on that curveball or changeup. I did miss which one it was. And that one is going to go all the way to the wall. And that is gone. Gone for Vernon Wells. And that means the Angels take a 4-1 lead. Wells with his first home run, I believe, of the season. Might be wrong, but still making absolutely incredible contact at one. Sissiosa, very, very happy who wouldn't be Chris Gill going to go and celebrate with Wells they have absolutely really pushed the lead further and further away here from the Rangers and it's looking more and more likely that the Rangers are going to have to struggle to come back from that incredible height on that one by Wells that looked like it was going out straight away and obviously because of that home run Ron Washington is going to come out and make a pitching change here not the best start for the starting pitcher but I'm not going to complain Soria, or Soraya, however you say his name, on the mound for him now and nothing ends up coming of that inning. So, 4-1 Angels here, bottom of the 7th, 0-2 count. 
going to end up not getting uh, taken by the third baseman there. Probably should have done better with that. And that is going to be a single for Texas. Once again, showing that they are still not out of this. David Murphy back up at the plate. No speed on first and no chance of them going. No outs, though, and he's going to get him on that change up wide. Short stop, 6-4-3, double play. And that is two outs. Murphy obviously not happy with that call. He thought he was in. But then again, I can be incredibly happy with that because that is so lucky for once that double play paid off. But Rangers still attacking here. Runners on the corner, speed at first. Two outs, 2-2 two -two count. Vargas is going to bobble that one. That four-seamer wide is going to go up the middle. That's going to leave the runners on first and second, and that is an RBI. That is a single RBI for the Rangers. This is getting tougher now for Vargas. I don't know how much longer he'll last. Giving up another hit there and another run. is now 4-2 ball game. Adrian Beltre up. But with that, I am going to make a pitching change. Vargas has done good so far, but we need to get him out of there. We can't lose this lead, this two-run lead that we have for the moment. And we are going to see Jerome Williams come in. So hopefully he can make an impact. Two outs. Oh well count. Runner on first and second, and Beltre is going to bobble it on the first pitch straight to Williams, and that will end the inning. I suppose Williams didn't expect to have an easier time as that. But I am not going to complain because that means I am back at bat and a chance to build up that lead again. 11 hits so far for the Rangers. They've done incredibly well. But nothing really happens with the batters there. So bottom of the eighth, Williams is going to give up a hit there down the left field line, line drive, single. Throw's going to go as a second. If he'd have stretched his lead there, he might have got into second. You never know. That was a silly decision to throw it. Ian Kinsel up at the plate now. Runner on first for him. So a chance to uh, get the lead a bit further or get them back in the game. Going to be throwing a change up low here, Williams is. Nice strike three on Kinsler. Laid off that thinking it was going low, but it just stayed in the strike zone and I can be happy with that. Giovanni Soto back up at the plate now. Two seamer coming in and that is going to go to Pujols. Pujols is going to relay it back to Williams at first. And that is another double play for the Angels. Really trying to keep this lead. It's getting even tougher. They are mustering up more hits. And that is the end of the eighth. Twelve hits for the Rangers. But the Angels still have the lead at the bottom of the eighth. Four to two. Chris Cutliffe up at the plate now. The right fielder has so far got no hits and has not had a fantastic game. Top of the ninth. No outs for him. Guessing that four seamer high and that is going all the way back to the warning track. And it is going to miss the left fielder's glove and he's going to stretch his lead to get into second. Sliding in head first, just making it in. And that is his first hit of the game. It is good to see on his uh, first chance in the eight for the Angels this season that he gets actually gets a hit. Runners on the corners for the Angels now. He's going to strike out Chris Gill. Not what I, uh, not what I'd hoped for with runners on first and uh, first and third. You really want to kind of be getting that put that there, the player on third home, considering he's only 90 feet away. But it was not to be. Alberto Caspo now one for three so far. He had a single in the second, with a chance to get an RBI here and pretty much seal this game. A low count for him, going to be guessing on a low ball. And he makes pretty good contact there, but he's going to ground out to the first baseman and that will end the half inning. We will go to the bottom of the ninth with the Angels only having a two-run lead over the Rangers here. This could be a great time for a comeback for the Rangers. Williams still on the mound though, 0-2 count here for the batter. Curveball is going to go low and stay in the strike zone. AJ Pazinski just looking at that one go, and that is strike three. So one out here, David Murphy. Throwing a four seamer up high and inside, and he makes good contact on that. Murphy's that's going to go to left center field and bounce all the way to the wall. Center field are going to pick that one up, but it is going to be an easy, easy double for Murphy. Not a bad game from Murphy so far, but with Williams giving up that hit I am going to bring in the closer Ryan Madsen here. Two games so far. One save. Can this be his second save? So far hasn't been recorded with a win. Only a save. But Elvis Andrews up at the plate now. The shortstop is two for four. There is a runner in scoring position, so a home run would time this game up. Game up. Game up. Game. 
but that two seamer will fly out to the shortstop and that is the game he was not able to tie the game up and the Angels win this one 4-2 at Texas so 4-0 so far for the Angels thank you for watching this guys I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did please leave a like if you didn't enjoy it don't worry make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on Twitter it is at Tezadu the link will be in the description below I hope you all have a fantastic Independence Day and I'm gonna go eat some food right now so thank you for listening folks I'll see you in my next video goodbye